It's great that Chapman is kind of forward thinking and th knows that these cultural excursions um, bring, bring us closer towards our industry. It struck a chord with me that there are all these great trips and I know so many people all over the world that I just thought that I could put together a terrific trip and particularly in Australia where I'd been 30 years ago. He was really passionate about getting together a group of people to go and have essentially a tour of the Australian film industry. I think this trip has definitely fulfilled a well-rounded sort of exposure to the film industry specifically. I came in just knowing about writing, but coming here I've been exposed to sort of the business realm through um, learning about how films here are financed in Australia. I've gone to acting workshops to learn how actors function within their realm. Some of the coolest things we got to do was go see the Sydney Film Festival, which was a lot of fun. I've never been to a film festival before, so that was a lot of fun for me to do. There was a really great script read-through session uh, for a new feature film that's being put together by a bunch of Australians called I Am Jack. Animal Logic is one of the top visual effects houses I would say almost in the world that's based here out of Sydney on the Fox lot. We got to tour it, which was really cool. We got to see a whole, they gave us a whole behind the scenes look at the complex that they have and a visual demo in their theater of all of the work they've been doing, such as Great Gatsby, and to show really how much they did. The Fox Studios tour was phenomenal. I mean, we were able to see uh, what kind of uh, movies and facilities that um, another country is working with. I mean, it's very similar towards what we're working with. We also got to had the rare privilege of having a Q&A session with um, director Peter Weir. The other kind of director is the director whose signature could, in a sense, be erased. You serve the story, but I'm certainly in that second category in which I look for a good story. Something that I thought was especially helpful that he said was just the importance of using your unconscious as a vault for creativity and not relying as so many of us do in this sort of age of technology on the internet as a resource. I've done these American films, I loved your English films, why don't you do another English film? And he said, the film is its own country. David Michaud actually took time out of his busy day and his schedule editing his new movie to come and have a Q&A session with us on the Fox lot. This group of Australians who all seem to be working on each other's films and, and it became apparent to us that there was a power in having that sort of sense of a little mini movement, you know, that, you know, the that somehow the whole was greater than the sum of its parts. It was very interesting because he, he's met with all these amazing celebrities and actors, uh, producers, directors, and he, he's been this, I mean, phenomenal director. And I mean, it's amazing to see how humble he is. Vivid is a festival headed by Ignatius Jones. It basically takes over all of downtown Sydney by the harbor area and lights are projected onto these buildings and even so far as the opera house. And it's really just a spectacle of lights unlike any other and it draws like millions of people. Ignatius Jones is the man. He is the curator of Vivid for the last couple years and is absolutely phenomenally a genius. The festival itself was beautiful. Um, I had never really seen anything like that before, or at least to that scale. And um, I thought it was really interesting how they incorporated a more interactive process to it. When we went to go see it, it was a phenomenal masterpiece of art, light, and music all turned into one in this multimedia experience. The highlight of the trip was definitely being able to meet with all the different uh, guests, being able to kind of understand the differences between the American and the Australian film industries and seeing that there is a possibility in the future for them to kind of merge and be able to um, further both each other. I'm given an opportunity 
to be a part of making welcome through Harry. My response was immediately positive because I recognized that here is this American Film School wanting to bring their students here to see how we're doing it here, what we're doing here, making a connection. We've learned an awful lot about how the Australians do it and I think they've learned an awful lot about how, how we do it. And I also think that we, we really want this to be biannual. And we have come to Sydney this time and we'd like them to come to us the next time.